as you can see this video is ancient but I decided to upload it anyways for a couple of reasons one of them is that uh, there was a question about using bimanual interfaces for the nanotech construction kit and as you can see here um, they do work really uh, very very well for this program so uh, in this video that I, that's a recording of an interaction I did well, about six years ago um, the little gray ball that's my left hand uh, and the little gray cone that's my right hand and you can see that the interface allows you uh, to very easily pass atoms from one hand to the other, grab the whole construction with one hand, add an atom with the other, uh, force a bond by just grabbing two atoms and pretty much plugging them into each other. So this program, Nanotech Construction Kit, is a, I think is a fantastic example of the power of bimanual interfaces. Um, it turns out that building a buckyball like here uh, is about twice as fast uh, using two hands than using one hand. I've timed that a couple times and you can see actually uh, the one-handed version of the video is already up on YouTube. Um, and the other reason why I uploaded it is sort of as an opportunity to announce that after many years of having it only available on request, the Nanotech Construction Kit is now publicly available for download. So I just put it on my research and development page. Uh, it's under uh, GNU GPL version 2. Uh, you, you can just start playing with it right away because it is not what I, what I published there is not the most uh, recent development version of it, but a slightly older one that does not need VUI 2.0. So you can just get VUI 1.0 version 68, I recommend, um, and just start playing with this directly if you feel so. Uh, right, so that's pretty much all I got to say about this. I'm just watching myself building this thing here. Actually, I should mention that uh, this video, I think, is very slightly sped up compared to how long it really took me. It's not significantly sped up. I think I made a mistake in like recording it at 25 frames a second and converting it to a video at 30 frames a second. So I'm not exactly quite as fast as you can see here, but pretty close to that. All right.